All right. So a um, couple of things here. Sure. This is a speaker, correct? That is the tweeter of the speaker. There's five speakers and the upper ones that you just pointed to are the tweeters. Okay. And these are also speakers. Those are also speakers. Okay. Cause like there was some debate about, are these actually air vents? Are they speakers? But these, th these are speakers, both of these. Okay. Correct. And but then this is the document holder, obviously. That's the document holder. And it looks like it's some kind of neoprene like material. Is that, is that what it is? That's the plan. You know, if you think about like a nylon case uh -huh. with a little zipper. Yep. Uh, that's essentially what it is. Yeah. Like those like cases they have for iPads and stuff that are zip open mm -hmm. or, or notebook sleeves or something like that. <laughs> okay. There's a little lip right here. Is that how you access the storage underneath the cell phone? Does this like lift yes, up? Yes. And slide that's up? probably, that's more of a feature for, I don't know if we'll call it air in because the, the first two videos were, uh, were really addressing questions about how do you put air on the tires? Uh -huh. um, but I think the third video might address a little bit more different like, functionalities. Like that's the storage. Got it. Or yeah, underneath that phone area. Okay, now this was a major change from the air in one video is the way that this center screen, the the this housing around it looks looks totally different. Yes. Uh it looks different and it it's slightly larger and what it accommodates our uh HVAC controls for the user. Uh-huh. Which are in and this this is the, the very interesting part. It it sounds like, oh, why would you do that when you can do it? you know, the other way, but uh, these are vents that allow the user to turn them on, off, left, right, up, down. Okay. So, so the, this little area that I'm pointing at right here, so I'm going to mm -hmm. make it bigger here. This thing right here, it, you can angle this up and down. Yes, but that's also a left and right. Oh, there's a left and you can slide this left and right as well. No, you wouldn't slide it left and right. The, uh, to the right of your cursor would be the passenger control. Okay. Right there, that one's directed more towards the passenger, and then to the left is for the driver. Okay, it allows it allows the passenger to close off uh, airflow to their side if they wish. Okay, and it also allows some degree of of air direction. Okay, and that's so. Do these like fins move? Yes. Okay, they're movable, so they're just like the regular things that you see on cars. Where you can yes, move them and. A we we did not reveal that because we were in process. Uh, it's part of our intellectual property portfolio. Okay. Our HCC systems and and these vents. Okay. All right. All right. So that because that's what some people are like. Hey, I bet these little things move the vents. And I was like, maybe. Who knows? They do. We call them rotary vents. Uh -huh. They 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 do perform. Uh, like I said, you know, the, this is a stepping stone. We have. First and foremost, we need a certain amount of volume of air, right? There's a, there's a CFM that we have to uh, allow a, a certain amount of air to come out from the HVAC blower mm -hmm. into the cabin. And there's a certain amount that is recommended for the center vents. Okay. And we have, to, we have to meet that. So we've got a volume first and foremost. Then you have a directionality uh, issue. You know, how much directionality you want to give to the to the user, then you have an on off, like how much do you want to block, let some, some air in and some off or out mm -hmm. as it were. And then, then there's a, there's a, so there's a whole level and we, our original IP and system was based on kind of behind the scenes controls, mm -hmm. but it's much more complex to execute at that on that level at this time. So we opted to investigate how to basically do that in a, a mechanical or an analog way. And we came up with a, a super elegant solution with these, with these veins and these, these vents that allow, you can just very quickly like up, oh, turn the air off, turn it away from me, you know, direct mm -hmm. it another place. So this was again, a kind of you a cost benefit analysis of what, what do you need? What do you want? And what works in the most elegant way? And here we are. So we're, we'll, we'll have some more on this. And the fun part of that about this is we're now doing um, CFD analysis mm -hmm. of what happens when the air enters the cabin and where does it go? So okay. we're, set, we're setting up the models to run through this. Now, that's the CFD side, which we've been preparing for for quite a while. And normally it takes months. And it's very complicated. But our partner is 
has uh, accelerated that process for us. At the same time, we're doing a bench test. And, and we've been in process, so we're 3D printing these parts and we're doing a bench test on the actual blower to measure the volumes of air, which is how we started with the vent around the screen. Mm -hmm. We set up a very basic one with no directional control, but we just measured the velocity and we compared it against uh, you know, what, you, what you would expect in a normal passenger, passenger vehicle uh, cabin size. So we measured you know, amount, flow, what, is this, what does it sound like? We have, mm. to, we have to make sure that it doesn't sound bad when it's coming out because there is noise yeah. with, with that. But um, this is kind of the culmination and now's the right time to share it with you all. Got it. Okay. Now, one thought process was is in one aspect, this is a re really nice idea because you can, like if you're using AC, you can cool the screen as you're using AC blowing it. But on the flip side, if you were using a heater, you'd be heating the screen. Great you guys have obviously thought about that. Yeah, and let, let me let me put this uh, very very straightforward. The two systems are insulated so that they do not either rely on each other or conflict with each other. Okay, that's been the real, um, let's say, fun part to engineer and design. Mm -hmm. You know, do you put them together? And the answer is no. You should you should start by keeping them separate. So we have a, and and the reason is we have a we have a, a control board in there that needs some thermal stability. Okay. So that system for in, environmental stability is separate from what the HVAC system around it is. And hmm. that becomes like, how do you, how do you integrate those two systems together? So, so does have, it have a separate cooling loop for the? It's not a cooling loop. They're just isolated from each other with a thermal barrier. Okay. And that thermal right. barrier that that insulator is part of the design which makes up if you think about the hvac system for the center it's kind of like two funnels there's an inner and outer funnel and the inner funnel has then a yet another insulator layer which then houses the electronic controls for the board right mm -hmm. for the for the uh, for the for the the chips and, and the processor and everything and then the outside has the more the air control and we were able to you know keep those two separate and come up with a really elegant situation solution for it okay okay great An another common question is sure. and maybe this is something um that i need to talk to the ui ux guy about but how does cruise control work on this thing like uh, cruise, people want to know like like on a yeah. lot of modern cars you know the cruise control is like on the steering wheel right or on the stock and it's like you can resume and you can s you speed up slow down like without really taking your hands off the the wheel or the yoke. Okay, I'm going to leave that for the third video in the feature series. We won't okay. call it, we'll, well, maybe we'll call it like other stuff or, okay. or et cetera. But yeah, uh -huh. um, since you bring that up, there is there is a, a, a tree for that, let's say, okay. with with how that control is. So let's leave that for another, another video and another review. Got it. Um, all right, and then in the Arian one video, it looked like this piece, the side vent here, yeah. was a like a like a metallic uh color. Like it was Correct. a metallic trim type. Yeah, thing. it was it was shinier and yeah. that was we were kind of playing around like would it would would it be better served to be uh you know a bright finish or not? Uh -huh. I think satin black works much better for us, but our side vents have the same uh it's a kind of same rotary vent where uh -huh. there you get on off up down left right in one moving part and that that again speaks to our our ip okay so is this the production intent look yes. or is it the metallic okay it's not the metallic this is the production yes. intent look okay got it absolutely